Welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're back here at Dana Ford uh, doing some more dyno testing with some uh, performance parts. Uh, what we have going on is we're gonna do some exhaust changing. So we're gonna get a baseline here on what our truck does with the stock manifolds with a stock Y pipe that has gutted cats. So this is a no cat system for this test. And then we're gonna switch over to the SPD performance manifolds, which are ported, and we'll see what the gains are with just the change on the manifold. Then we'll come back again and change the Y pipe from the stock Y pipe to the three inch Y pipe that SPD provides that has the high flow EPA approved Jesse two cats. So we're gonna see if we can actually make more power on a cadet system than we can on a non cadet system without going down the road of long tube headers, which would actually make the entire system a lot louder than I like. And it can sometimes start to create a little bit of knock if the exhaust gets a little loose. And for the most part, usually if it's installed right, it won't have a problem, but sometimes you go over bumpy roads continuously, like I do daily driving, it can loosen up a little bit and then you can get a false knock, which is something I don't like to deal with and you don't have that problem when you're dealing with uh, the stock manifolds. It's a lot tighter of a system. But uh, yeah, you can put your guesses in down below, see what you think we're gonna make at each stage and see if you're right. I mean, we should have no problem making the power. I mean, we have a Whipple supercharger on there so that you know we can make power all day. We got the l &M engine in there. So that short block can handle whatever we pretty much throw at it. We got the pure drivetrain uh, 10 speed in there, so we know the trans won't let go on us and we got enough fuel from the JD power uh, solutions uh, fuel system And then of course, you know, we got the wizard on the keyboard you can Osborne from Oz tuning so between that and The great guys over at Ross performance turning wrenches and the great guys over here at Dana Ford DAS department turning wrenches We have no problems. We have nothing but the best in the business touching the vehicle. So the only fault would be me i'm a little crazy so but i ain't touching the vehicle for nothing, so this should go without a hitch <laughs> but yeah let's jump on into the first baseline and go from there So as you guys already saw, we did a baseline. So coming off of that, we're now back at the shop and we're gonna change the manifolds. So we're going from a stock manifold to a ported manifold. So SPD Performance has the ported manifolds. Uh, we're gonna pop these on, then we'll do another baseline so we can see what gains are on just the manifold. And then uh, following that, We'll change the stock Y pipe to the full new three inch Y pipe with the, the Jesse two uh, high flow cats. But let's take a look at the manifold real quick so you guys can get an idea of what we got here. Ported and the stocker. So uh, when you look at it, stock one is an inch two and a quarter inch and the ported one is what's that a little more than two and a half so two and five eighths so that within itself is a pretty big uh opening then you figure the runners ah, those are pretty tiny Here you can see the runners are ported out, so they're opened up as well. well you guys can kind of put in the comments what you think the gains would be on the manifold change only first. 
and then the total gain to be uh, as far as manifolds and uh, with the new three inch Y pipe. So we're getting ready to pop those in. We got the man right there. There he goes. <laughs> we're gonna pop those in. Uh, I'm not gonna waste you guys time looking at a manifold install like you've seen anybody but half a half an idea knows what they're doing there. So we'll pick this back up after our end and uh, when we're rebaselining. <laughs> Okay, so the Y pipe, oh, let's get out of the sun. So the Y pipe is all installed now. So uh, we're gonna go take a quick look at that and then uh, we're gonna break that in a little bit and then uh, make a bolt. See just how much uh, the gains were. So comment down uh, what you guys think the gains would be for this, and then uh, we'll see. It's time to get ready to make some more power, then hit the streets. <laughs> Ten seventy three. Ten seventy three. Ten seventy three. Shit, bro, that shit. Oh my god. You got a YouTube? Yeah. Where? Let me subscribe to you. Uh, boosted up one fifty. I got you. Boosted that one fifty. Is that yeah. what you was? Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. That shit is sick. <laughs> that shit is crazy, bro. Shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, this one was on there earlier. Uh, how many horses did this? Uh, I made a uh, seven hundred. That's not it. They didn't even. They just got started with that thing. Oh, they didn't even do no shit. No, nah, not really. I mean, they just put the blower on, basically. Is this your hand? Yeah, that's me. Damn. <laughs> what about 42K? That's fire. That is fire, bro. All right, so. You take yeah. Yeah, she's run nines. We'll take it down uh, Friday. All right, so there we have it. So that's uh, 1073 and what was it, 906 torque. So total was 16 for just a manifold, another 30 with the Y pipe. Mind you, that's with cats. <laughs> so what's that a total of 46 horsepower we picked up uh, with this kit? I'd say that's pretty good. 46 horsepower, all emissions legal, just shy of 1,100 horsepower. And now, don't get me wrong, if you've watched my videos, uh, you may have seen a video uh, previously, uh, back last year, where we made 1090. 
that was actually on more boost. So we've lowered the boost down to 22. We were up at like 25 and we're trying to keep things alive, you know? So we lowered it down to 22 and that's kind of where we're staying right now. And as you saw, that's 1073. I'd say that's pretty good for a full admissions legal vehicle. Street trim, you know? That's pump E85, that's not even the, the good stuff like ethanol 1R or anything yet. But uh, yeah, next up uh, will be a few more tests you'll see in the next video. This should be a more interesting test as well. But uh, 1073, we're gonna go into the track this week and see what we can get out of her. But uh, I'm pretty happy. Big shout out to SPD Performance. Uh, again, always a shout out, l &M Engines, uh, Dana Ford, DAS Department, uh, Ross Performance, uh, Oz Tuning, uh, Whipple Superchargers, uh, Pure Drivetrain Solutions, you know, uh, JD Power, JD Performance Solutions, sorry I messed that up JD, for the, for the fuel system, but don't get me wrong, we're still running a returnless fuel system. This isn't no return style or nothing. No, this is still returnless. So everything that we've done here is staying within the missions and staying as simple as possible. Because there are a few things that we could always do, go a little more radical, and there's nothing wrong with it. Like going a big triple pump fuel system, there's a point for it. I just haven't reached that point, that's all. Like I like to daily drive mine a lot, so I might get down to a quarter tank of gas. Like, I, I don't need to worry about if I'm going up or downhill if it's going to stall out or nothing because it's not a race only trip vehicle. So, yeah, we take road trips. But we got a few more parts that'll be getting tested over the next month or two. And, yeah. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. And don't forget, go by the. Check out some merch and yeah, boosted F-150 out.